Cheerleading is not officially considered a sport in Nebraska or 20 other U.S. states, yet it can be very demanding and is responsible for two-thirds of all catastrophic injuries to high school girls, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Um, yeah, I've had minor ones. I've never broken a bone, but I have gotten a stress fracture and I've overextended um, legs and arms. I haven't done anything this year yet, so... But just five days later, Kaylin suffered her first injury of the season. So we had a competition on Sunday, and I had to compete for competitive cheer and for high school cheer. And just all the stress um, made it pop out of place a few times after the competition was over. And um, basically, it might be a torn ligament. So um, I have a brace right now. I have an ace wrap, too, to go underneath it. I just can't wear it tonight because... Um, I was going to be sitting out most of the time anyways. My mom is a PA and so she suggested going to, uh, phys to physical therapy. Well, it should take me a few weeks, but we have a competition in a few days. So, I'm, and now I have a new tumbling pass, so I'm going to have to One, suck it up. Three, four, five, Caitlin is heavily involved at her cheer academy, but feels like her cheer team at her high school is not up to the same level. Here I practice as hard as other sports, but at school um, we don't practice as hard, of other, as hard as other sports. I also think that that's because it's not considered a legitimate sport. Also, we don't get the same treatment as other sports. A lot of the other sports get to do um, certain things like professionals, and because we are not at, like legitimately considered a sport, we don't get to have the same equipment and same um, treatment as the other sports at the school. Reporting for Newsnet Nebraska, this is Anna Reed.